Uh, with the stage one tune decreased the life on my Audi A6 C7. I have 120,000 miles on the car. N not any amount that could be quantified. I mean, you could reason that if your motor is working 20% harder, then it might not last as long some amounts. It's just all kind of made up. So, um, no, it's there's there's no... There's no yeah, decrease I mean, in life of your. Yeah, we. This is one of the things we have to. Do. We're doing uh, the aforementioned carb EOS for those, which we have, you know, an, an executive order for that uh, calibration. Um, one of the questions they ask is, "What is your expected life uh, mm -hmm. impacts and whatnot on the vehicle and its components?" And you know, we just answer it's like it's it's with the added load, there will be some quicker wear. It's not a quantifiable thing by any means because it's entirely dependent on how it's driven. But there's no other outside. Uh, factors to the calibration itself that are going to you know quickly or dramatically change the wear in any way um, and especially stage one it's it's a pretty minimal overall like peak amount of load that could be changed uh, the stock ecu in some situations will run you know <laughs> with the way the bypass valve shut and very similar levels of boost at you know very specific scenarios and uh, compared to what we're running so it's not like it's even outside of what the OEM's envelope is for for almost all the situations, but, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it. Um, the biggest thing's just going to be like we say with everything else is keeping all of your um, maintenance items in check, your intercoolers in check, make sure your injectors are in good shape, and the rest of the motor is healthy, and you'll be in a good spot. Yeah, and one hundred twenty thousand miles is perfectly fine. You know, yeah, from a tuning standpoint, as long as your maintenance is done, you're not going to have any problems.